So this is a weird situation. Uh, yeah, what are these people doing? All we can do is open our minds. The language of the hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. Oh. The probability is you'll be able to solve his riddle. Blind large Jorkson's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks. Five striped, five plaid, five spotted, five argo. That's a lot of socks. Being a teenager, he filled a pair of socks and threw them randomly in his drawer. How many socks must he pull out before he's absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Oh gosh. So is this one of these, um... Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. So he... I mean, logic dictates it should be six, but... Hmm. That seems too simple. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> it was not too simple. Yeah, so... The reasoning behind that is he gets one from each of those five groups, and then the, the sixth one he pulls out has to be also from one of those five groups. Yeah, here's the logic. Even if he got a new pattern, every time he pulled it out, the sixth one would have to match. That's basically it. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? Trees, animals, do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Hmm. A quorum of crows congregating in rows on alignment for clothes is an omen of woes. Okay, he's just rhyming at this point. Bjorn has photos that show clothes on the clothesline. Okay, so some of these pictures might overlap. What is the minimum number of birds um, pictured? I just want to make sure. Minimum number of crows pictured. Minimum. Minimum. Okay. Gosh, I have no idea. Okay. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. Okay, so these two might overlap here. So it'd be like this red bird. So that that could be an easy overlap, those two. So meaning this is like three. And then this could overlap here with one, two. Like those two in our overlap there. And then this bird overlaps with, um, yeah. So that'd be one, two, three scratch out those two this is uh, four but that's an overlap and this is an overlap so all these together could be four um five six six fingers crossed jeez okay Try again with five. Dang, okay, so I missed one overlap. Are they gonna show me the picture of the correct answer? Maybe. Okay, so getting one wrong answer is the same as using a hint, right? Because when I use one hint, that gives me seven out of 10. Okay, that is not a very good explanation. That's it. Only one more piece. Okay, so basically, uh, we solve the puzzle from each of these three people you here. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles. Edward knows. Edward knows it's time to stalk the river with Gricklebacks. Drag the four fish with these rules. Oh, well, this isn't incredibly complicated at all. <laughs> Schools swim towards the river, splitting in each fork. A school that can't split easily will be will be paralyzed with indecision. Poor, poor. Okay, so that basically means um, this three has to go there because it can't split e evenly. A will have to split, B has to split, C has to split, so D has to go there. Okay, 
marsh mommets will eat all fish who enter their turf, so um, that road and that road. They're either in one of those places, but not both. Exactly 16 must enter. So three, that means um, 11. This is kind of impossible, isn't it? Okay, so let's assume... I guess we have to... The marsh moments eat, eat... Okay. So if this works, let's say the, 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 the mammoths are here in this thing. So that means the um, four fish go here. And then three... Uh-oh, but those three get split with indecision, right? Mm-hmm. So that means that six has to go there. Otherwise, indecision time, right? So... Um, three go here. Mm -hmm. And then six go there, if the monster's there. Six. So is there a way to get ten up here? This would be four plus two. No. But this would be four. And then, um, two and two. I don't know. Let's go with this. I should have used a hint. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter which place they are in, fishing. Okay, so it doesn't matter which place they are in. The smallest clutch of fish is in the safest spot. Yeah, I knew that. Got that one figured out. Four fish suffer losses before they reach the river, no matter where. Okay, so basically the four fish are going to be like that. So what would that do um, with these bad boys? So let's say eight and three. Um, yeah, so that'd be eight and three if the monster's here in the marsh. So 8 plus 3 is 11. Um, there'd be 6. Yeah, let's go with that. Again. I've probably gotten that wrong. Nope. Okay, retry. Then, therefore, it's like this. Fingers crossed. Yep, okay. Yeah, puzzle required a little bit too much math. Sorry. Sorry I did badly. That's all of the pieces. Now I just need to reassemble them. I don't know why is it that some puzzles I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna solve this, and then other puzzles I'm like, I'm lazy. Oh, the do-it-yourself puzzles. Oh, I love these ones. Thief! Hmm. My life is just a series of painful struggles. Okay, arrange the logs. Okay, this puzzle again. Every gear piece. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. And can these two be moved? No, those, those three that are on the board cannot be moved. It can't be something simple like this. Yeah, no, it can't be something like... Hmm. Alright, no, let's not use a hint quite yet. Okay. I did 
something like... No, it's, that, it's getting that top one is the, the tricky, tricky thing. Like I go down and around the entire thing, because that would make it. Yeah, I'm gonna use a hint. Okay, I am using hints. Ignore the log in the lower right corner. Yeah, there we go. That that's the decision I should have come to on my own. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm totally stumped here. This is clearly a sign I should should be done for the night. Okay. So let's see if that hint matches this area in the bottom right. It does. Okay. So the solution's gonna give me something like this. Okay. So that's goes down and around. this down. That could be it. Does that get everything? Fingers crossed. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I missed several. No, no! It'd be nice if the game, like, highlighted which ones I missed then that would be easier. Yeah, so that, I mean, that just messes up my uh, third row. Just use another hint. Clearly out of brain puzzle. The winning arrangement has three left, right leaning wrong, right, and then four left ones. So it's gonna use another log leaning in this direction, but the fourth one, I think that's actually it. That's the last hint, so I can just bra uh, um, just spam the hints here, so that's the solution. Any arrangement will have three left leaning logs. What was that picture again? One like this and one like so the two logs like that are gonna be here and here. So just work backwards to Still not 
not seeing it. <laughs> Three logs that lean right and four that lean left, so okay. Four that here's a three that lean left. Here's a three that lean right. So there's one that leans left. I've just gotta put this somewhere on the board. So currently Nelson goes like this. He goes down, he goes left, up. And let's see, if I I have him hit this one here, it doesn't work, so what if I put it there? I'm not sure that gets everything, because that never gets this piece, does it? Yeah, this piece is a, a goner, so that means... It was four left pieces, it's gotta be it, come on. If you can figure this out. So those three in that corner like that. piece has got to be either here or here. If it's there, that doesn't really make sense. Let's try for this. I don't know. This puzzle's got me stumped. Yep, that goes off screen. That nothing. Um, sorry, game. You got me. You've got me. Okay, so these are definitely left-leaning logs, though. That's 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 correct. Correct. It's going to be correct. Okay. That's it, but that's not like four left-leaning logs, is it? That's like two. That's it. That's it, but I'm not sure that meant the four left logs. But whatever, I'm overthinking this. Or underthinking it, considering how badly I did. Okay. Tracking trouble. Three hints. Borderline. Gotcha. Borderline idiot. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting that piece back. So I can go inside if I want. They locked it behind me. The door to the lodge is locked. It seems to be your standard locking device. A lock. Maybe a deadbolt. <laughs> it seems to be a standard lock. Hmm, the... Okay, that door is locked no matter hmm, how many times I go through it. Okay, so I've got lots of places I can go to. But because I know how to get easy hints in here, basically, 
I'm going to do what I what I mentioned, just go back and forth between here, these two screens, and get enough hits to cover all of the remaining puzzles in the game. That way, if the puzzles are like that monster one I just solved, I will be, I will be good to go. I know it's kind of cheating to get, like, a ton of hints, and I probably won't use all of them, but uh, better safe than sorry, I suppose.